Good morning. I'm Stephen with the National Weather Service in Chicago. It's 6 a.m. on February 17, 2014. Thank you for joining me for this multimedia briefing. I want to take the next couple of minutes to bring you up to date on the latest forecast information concerning today's winter storm, which will impact much of the region. Heavy snowfall is expected across the area, and within this heavy snow, we are anticipating high intensity snowfall rates with snowfall rates possibly reaching a crippling, crippling two to three inches per hour at times. And with this heavier snow and high intensity snowfall, there is a possibility thunder snow could be observed across the area as well. The main impacts are heavy snow across the entire area. And with this heavy snow, once again, two to three inch hour rates are definitely not out of the question and this is area wide. We are anticipating this higher snowfall rates to occur more towards the late morning and early afternoon time frame. Under the heavier snow, visibility will be reduced to zero at times with snow covered roads quickly becoming an issue. And all we are expecting four to eight inches area wide with isolated 10 inches, definitely not out of the questions. And this uh, accumulation will be more prevalent as we get more towards into the afternoon and early evening time frame. With once again, difficult, difficult Difficult travel could be observed across the area. To give you a little bit of a timeline here, uh, we can start with the Chicago metro area. Snow is developing across the west at this time, but we are expecting a more light to moderate snow as we get towards the mid, mid to late morning time frame, quickly becoming heavy as we get towards midday and early afternoon. And this heavier snow will likely continue into the late afternoon and early evening time frame until our continues to diminish as you get more towards later this evening. Once again, the 48 inches will occur across this area and possibly isolated 10 inch amounts. The main impacts are the extremely difficult travel that will be observed late this afternoon and early evening with this winter storm warning in effect. More towards the Rockford metro area, fairly similar situation here, but just uh, some slight differences with timing. Snow is continuing to develop just west of the area right now. We are anticipating this to, to further expand as it shifts east here through mid to late morning with snow becoming heavy once again more towards the midday time frame and continuing through mid-afternoon before a slow diminishing trend, trend occurs towards the early evening. Similar amounts of 40 inches, 4 to 8 inches as well with isolated 10 inch amounts possible. Here's a map uh, showing the snowfall across the area <clears throat> with 4 to 8 inches area wide and isolated 10 inches possible. It's under the thunder snow, the more convective type snow bands that we do get where the potential remains for this isolated 10 inch amount. Although some models that we are looking at over the night did kind of pinpoint areas across the southern half receiving these isolated 10 inch amounts, it's definitely not out of the question for these higher amounts to reach far northern Illinois as well as southern Wisconsin. So we are mentioning the 48 inches and isolated 10 inch amounts area wide for today's storm. A Little bit of a threat level here with regards to snow mounts rates as well as ice and blowing snow. Uh, the snow amounts remain here on the higher side but as you get towards the snowfall rates uh, definitely a, a high threat there with these fairly dangerous two to three inch hour rates possible this afternoon and uh, zero visibility associated with it. There is some potential for some sleet or freezing rain, mainly across the southern half of the area, south of the I-80 corridor. Although any prevailing freezing rain or sleet appears to be um, <clears throat> low at this time, but it still could possibly occur before it transitions through overall snow. And although there, there is a, a low threat for blowing snow, the snow is appearing to be more of an average, maybe wet snow, and so would anticipate at this time for not too much of a uh, blowing snow issue uh, for this event. With these impacts as well as the uh, snow accumulation, a winter storm warning has been uh, issued for much of northern Illinois and portions of northwest Indiana with some slight timing differences as we are expecting differences within the snowfall across the area. 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. as you go towards northwest and north central Illinois and then northeast Illinois, northwest Indiana can expect a time frame of 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. today. Once again, here are the impacts for this event, which will include heavy snowfall with high rates and upwards of two to three inch hour, two to three inches per hour, severely reduced visibility near zero at times, 
and extreme travel become or extreme difficult, extremely difficult travel as you get into the afternoon. I'd like to thank you for joining me for this multimedia briefing. It, once again, it's 6 a.m. on February 17, 2014. Forecast information could change at a later time, so be sure to check back at our website, weather.gov slash Chicago, for the latest forecast information. And as always, be sure to stay tuned to No Weather Radio and local media for any watches or warnings or advisories that may be issued.